Good evening, everybody. Madam Roy back again. Well, this was kind of a unexpected video. I was trolling Craigslist a little earlier, and I came across a deal that I couldn't refuse. Um, basically, this guy locally upgraded his wife's computer, and he threw it on Craigslist. So let me go over what we're going to do today. As most of you know, this is my Dell Vostro 200 uh, that I've had now for a couple of years. Um, I know I've showed this before in videos, but I don't know if I've ever gotten this close. It's got the DVD-ROM drive up there. And if I can get into it, it has a recently replaced HP dual-layer DVD burner on the bottom. Uh, memory card reader, four front USB ports, uh, to it's a sound uh, mic port and an audio out port and then this is actually just a blank there is no 1394 firewire on there <coughs> and as most of you guys probably know this has the uh, core 2 duo inside and I did upgrade that from the original one the original one was a 1.86 gigahertz uh, forgive me, I don't remember the model Core 2 Duo CPU, and I put in an E8200, which is a 2.68 gigahertz Core 2 Duo. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm very dry tonight. Well, let's get to this. This is the computer I just picked up off of Craigslist. This is a Vostro 400 series. Uh, start with the top. This has one drive. I know you guys can't read it. It is a DVD burner, but it's only a single layer, not a dual layer drive. Bottom one in here is empty. I know it's a little dusty. I got to clean that. It's got the same thing: memory card reader, the USB ports, mic and headphone jack, and again on this one there is no FireWire ports. But what do we have down here? That's right. This is a Core 2 Quad. This is the Q6600 uh, CPU. So, bet you're saying right now, Matt, what are we going to do with this? Well, what I'm going to try to do is transfer uh, my hardware from this one to this one, and then transfer some of the hardware from here back to here. Um, the things we're going to be transferring are possibly the memory card. I'm not sure if this one reads high capacity cards. If it does, I'm just going to leave that alone. But we're going to transfer both of the optical drives, the internal hard drive that's in here, my TV capture card, and, and swap out the RAM. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is the inside of my Vostro 200. And the inside of this one is almost identical to that, which you'll see shortly. I know it's very dark, so I'm using a flashlight. And, like I said, we're going to be taking out some hardware. We're going to be taking out the hard drive, which is there. I have the GeForce GT640, which is definitely coming out and going into the new system. Both the optical drives, which you can see are both SATA drives. And possibly the memory. Now, he says that, that the new system has 8 gigabytes of RAM, and I have not verified that yet. This only has uh, 4 gigabytes. So I'm not sure about the RAM situation. Okay, here's the inside of the quad core system. As you can see, it's pretty much the exact same motherboard. These are the RAM sticks that he has in here. Now, I'm going to pull one out because I have verified this computer works. He had it running when I was there, but it was only showing 4 gigabytes of RAM. So one of two things, either these are not as big of RAM sticks as he thought, or possibly the BIOS just needs to be updated. So let's go ahead and pull one of those sticks out. Not very easy here. Looks like we're going to get two out at once. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see, these are... Yeah, that's what I thought. He, he was mistaken. They are one gigabyte sticks each, so it is a total of four gigabytes in there, which is perfectly fine. That's what the other one has, and I, I know I really don't need any more. 
So what I'm going to do is go ahead and switch over this all this hardware, and uh, I'll get back and show you what's happening. All right, talk to you. As a quick note, I wanted to point out the uh, interesting way these Dell uh, desktop towers uh, house the hard drives. Um, people have actually complained about this design, but I actually find it pretty convenient. Um, I think it actually keeps the drives out of the way of most of the other parts, and it helps with uh, airflow. So you can see right here there are four screw holes. I've actually already removed the screws, and the hard drive just kind of slides out like that. And there are two such bays. You can have two hard drives in here. And what I'm, what I'm pulling out right now is the one that was in there. That's the 160 gigabyte drive. And like I said, I'm going to put my one terabyte drive in there because even though this, is, I'm sure, is a really good hard drive, I need more space. And I'm really hoping that um, this computer will just work without me having to reinstall the operating system since these are so closely related. And matter of fact, they use the exact same motherboards. So, I'll be back in a few minutes, everybody. Alright, everybody. The hardware is swapped over to the new system. And we're about to start it up. Now, I have not done anything yet, so we'll see what happens. Well, that's a good sign. It didn't explode. I think I hooked up the monitors the wrong way, but that's okay. I can fix that in a minute. Yep, let's see what we got here. Yeah, keyboard failure. That is because I don't have a USB or keyboard on this. So let's go ahead and get one and we'll be right. All right, I told it not to halt on keyboard errors, so let's see what happens now. I did hook up a USB keyboard. Keep your fingers crossed, I really don't want to reinstall Windows 7. I don't think it'll be a problem because I did verify that these are, for the most part, the exact same motherboards. Not the same revisions, but they are the same motherboards from the two different systems, the Vostro 200 and the Vostro 400. Yeah, looks like it's going to boot. And, of course, the video drivers are not installed right now. Well, there we go. Looking so far, so good. And I bet you it's going to find a whole mess of stuff that it needs. I won't bore you guys with the installations. I'll go back and do all the drivers, and then I'll show you the end result. All right, so we're all done installing the drivers. The only thing I haven't gotten to work yet is my Bluetooth keyboard. And honestly, I think it may actually be the keyboard. This thing is really, really old. But I'll play with that a little bit more tomorrow. Let's go in and show you the results here. There you go. Intel Core 2 Quad CPU running at 2.4 gigahertz. The uh, rating Windows Experience Index rating is the same, but if you can see up here for the processor, before I was at 6.3, look at that, 7.1 down the board, except for the primary hard drive, which of course is because I don't have a uh, SSD in here. But that is it, everybody. It is up and running. Now, if you have any other questions or comments, please uh, feel free to ask. Like and subscribe to my videos, and you all have a good evening.